In this screencast I'll show you how to specify the process conditions for your dynamic simulation. In this particular very simple simulation we only have a valve that needs information specifying so we double click on there and we can enter the data using this window. The basic information has some defaults so we can size the valve, what size will this be and the, the value that's already as a default is 100 so we'll just leave that there. This reverse flow factor is a fraction between 0 and 1. If we set it to 1 then reversible flow is allowed and flow can go backwards through the valve. If we set it to 0 then we create a non-return valve. There are also lots of other tabs where we can specify other information about the way this valve performs. At the moment we'll leave these as the defaults. The thermo uh, calculation is also again set to default vapor liquid and this has got a cross on it because we've not changed it but that's not a problem we can just click OK and we've now got enough information specified in here uh, to be able to run the simulation. So that's how we can supply the process conditions for the simulation.